Secondary. Sorry. Surgical secondary and lumbar secondary. And the other two. Two, 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 one, one. One individual vertebrae. Okay. Well, this is much easier if you actually have a vertebrae. Okay. So we're going to probably use her book because it's easier to just. You might have to use it. So you just set the whole vertebrae on the table, right? That's easy enough. We don't really 3D. And that's how. She, but she, what she'll do is she'll, she'll just take one of those individuals and set it on the table. The body is pretty easy. That's the big, the big part. Right? That's the part that's absorbing all the shock. It's in between the discs. Okay, so that's the body. The vertebral arch is this whole, the whole arch basically that makes it, it's what makes the circle. Okay, so like the body has half a circle in it, and the rest of the half of the circle is the arch. So it's basically everything else, okay? But it's the inside of everything else. You see where it's labeled? This little line that's coming around here? It says vertebral arch. They're so it's the whole. About, it's the whole kind of. It's the it ventral it. side of the whole. <laughs> Just this part. Is right. <coughs> I don't think she's going to ask you that one. She's going to ask you one of the other ones. She, she might ask your body. Spinous process, probably. That's this one. It's right in the middle. It's what makes your spine. It's the processes that, when, yeah, when you lean over and you see all the little knobs, yeah. mm -hmm. that's the spinous processes, okay? Okay. They're the ones right in the middle, the ones that you can see. Next are your transverse processes. There's two of those. There's the ones on either side. So you got a spinous one, and then on either side, you have two transverse. Do that again. Spinous in the middle, and the transverse ones are on the, on the sides. Thank you. Um, the vertebral foramen, that's okay. about, a, that's the, that's the hole. Oh, sure. Okay. Means the so the arch the makes the border of the hole, and the hole itself I mean, hole is the, the foramen. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I hope you guys, you guys know what goes through that, right? What's in the middle of the foramen? Nerves. Cartilage? I don't know. Let me, I'm going to make spinal up something. Cord, spinal oh. cord. <laughs> spinal cord. I thought that was the spinal cord. Well, uh, I mean, the, the actual brain cells that are running through it are in the middle. The actual of it, right? cord. Yeah, there's oh, okay. Actual, there's actual nervous Nerves. tissue that runs through that. Now, there we go. Neurons. I didn't know that. Neurons. Yeah, brain, brain Learn cells. Learn something man. new. Yeah. So that's, I'm learning. That's why, it. you know, all, the whole idea of the back is to protect that. To, yeah. <laughs> right? So that's, that's why it's all encased inside that bone. Wow. Okay. So that protection of the skeleton, that purpose, mm -hmm. when we were going through right. the functions. Mm -hmm. the protection was one, you're like, well, how does the skull, skull or skeleton protect you? That's is how that? it protects you. Okay. It protects your, your nervous system okay. from damage. Gotcha. Okay. Um, Inside the hole. <laughs> yes, spinal cord. Nerves. You tired yet? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to figure. So, okay, the the next two are part of this arch system. Okay, right. So the arch is the whole border of the whole. All right. The lamina are in between the transverse and the spinous process. So there's one lamina here and one lamina there. Right. It makes the top part of that arch. Mm -hmm. So let me understand this before. Oh, okay. So if I'm looking at this, this basically is turned so around. My finger is touching the lamina here and the lamina here. <coughs> and then if I put my finger around it, around the other side, other side of the process, front of it, the transverse process right. in between it and the body, like if I put my finger right here, I'm touching it on either side right now. Now I'm touching the pedicle. Mm hmm. Mm, oh. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So this is the lamina, lamina and this the is the pedicle. So lamina, pedicle. Yep. What is so that little thing like this? Those are, those are where your ribs attach. Those are faucets. They're not on all of them. They're only on your thoracics. Oh. 
So could you, you, you know, you only have ribs on. Mm -hmm. Could you say the pedicle is like the bottom part of the arch? Or the back. Yeah, like it's the part of the arch that connects the body to the transverse process. Okay. Cool. And then the part of the arch that connects the transverse to the spinous is the lamina. So you have a pedicle, a lamina, a lamina, and a pedicle. Mm -hmm. Pedicle. Pedicle. I don't have any good way of remembering that. What happened to his teeth? That's what I'd laugh at. I was like, somebody mm -hmm. knocked the nails down. So the pedicle connects the body to the transverse process. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go over this real quick, and then I'm going to probably call it a day for the day. So I've got to get, got to, get to a medical museum. Medical museum. Yeah, it's for nursing school. Um, a good way to remember the number of cervical uh, vertebrae is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So you have breakfast at seven oh. o'clock, and you have lunch at noon, and you have dinner at five. Okay, that's mm -hmm. so there's seven cervical vertebrae, there's twelve thoracic vertebrae, and then there's five lumbar vertebrae. So there's only one sacrum. So. Hmm. Um. That's just remembering how many there how are. Many there are. Breakfast, yeah. lunch, and dinner. It's a good way to remember. Oh. C1 and C2, cervical 1, cervical 2, you will need to know those by actually taking them out of the box. That's the top two. Those you will actually have to know by name, Atlas and Axis. They look different. Okay. Uh, so those are just memorization. When you get to the lab, pull them out and memorize what they look like. Mm -hmm. They look different. They, only, what, they call one the yes bone and one the no bone. Um, the, the top one, the atlas, they call that yes bone because your occipital condyles, remember those bumps? Mm -hmm. These bumps right here, those mm -hmm. occipital condyles, they rock on that atlas. They allow mm -hmm. you to say yes. That's uh, what they do. They, mm -hmm. they articulate with the atlas. <laughs> okay? And then the C2 mm -hmm. articulates with, with C1 on something that's called the dens. It's a little thing. And it rotates on it like that. So like this. So the atlas know. is the yeah. yes. Ah. The atlas is the yes bone, and the axis <laughs> is the no, no bone. Because it, it's got a, the axis has a little, little thing like spike that sticks yeah. out of it. It's called the dens, mm. and the atlas sits on top of it and rotates around it. And no, no, like no. Yeah. So yes, yes, yes. Like, is the point called? Axis is. It's the not uh, the dens. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. So the, the the den. It's not. It's not really no pointy bone. so much as it's. It's obvious when you see it. Uh, Those, that, since we don't have them, to pull them out. I mean, I can't take him apart, so. Take his go, you know. go through your box of bones, pull those two out, and memorize them. They're pretty easy when you see them, especially the ones with the one with the dens on it. Uh, your sacrum is this whole thing, right? So it's, it's from. The tail. Oh. It's not this, and it's not that, but everything in between. In between. Mm -hmm. All the way. So, so the in between the pelvic, thing, right? The coccyx right? is this. That's your oh, bone. yes, Ew. it is. Your, 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 somebody dug both of the tailbone yes, and they're yes. falling around. Yes, yes. That's, that's the, the coccyx. That's this. Right this will yeah. snap off. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So that just the tip is the coccyx. Um, right? So okay. sacrum is everything but that. Or is it that part Sacrum is the whole thing. Like, so my whole hand's covering the sacrum. Besides, well, I guess not the coccyx. Coccyx would not be considered the sacrum. So the sacrum, you can say, is in between the pelvic bone, right? Mm -hmm. Can you say that? Okay. Yeah, they, they join the two. Mm -hmm. there's, there's an oscoxa here and an oscoxa here, and the sacrum joins them together. What's sacral hiatus? My finger's in the sacral hiatus. I don't know how else to remember it, but there's a little Butthole? <laughs> That's it's what... not a butthole. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like without the butt. You know that little dimple in between your cheeks? Though? Yeah. <laughs> is that I what that is? That's what it is. That's what it is. Oh, the middle. The dimple. Oh, the dimple. Oh. The dim oh. <laughs> last cheek. Dimple. See? You got to make it make sense. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. Well, that's what I'm going to I'm, I'm going to say dimple in between the butt. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to remember. <laughs> All right, last little thing, and then I'm leaving. You guys are more than welcome to stay as long as you want. Okay, so sternum. Everybody knows chest bone yes. is sternum, right? Mm -hmm. Right in the middle. whole thing is the sternum. The manubrium is just this top part. So there's a line right here, right? Mm -hmm. The top part is the manubrium. The body 
is this whole part. The middle? The middle. There's actually three parts. So you see that this whole mm -hmm. part at the top, that's manubrium. The body's from here. And right underneath there is your line right here. Mm -hmm. That's the xiphoid process. Oh. So you got manubrium, body, and xiphoid. The whole bone is the sternum, right? The whole the thing whole is the sternum. Okay. Now, there's a, there's a line right here. That's called the sternal angle. That, okay. And it divides out the body from the manubrium. I'm sorry, the manubrium Wait. from the body. That's the sternal Basic. notch. It's the sternal angle. Huh. This is the sternal angle. Well, that's like under body. Right. It's part of the body. Oh. Here's the body. Oh, There's the, okay. the sternal notch is right here. That's where my ah. fingers are. Mm. There's a notch. Okay. okay. Mm. Sternal notch is right there. Uh, and then the true ribs, false ribs, and floating ribs. You've got um, true ribs join the sternum. Okay, right. so one, two, three, four, five, and six. No, no, seven. Seven, seven true ribs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the first seven. Right, starting from the top, moving down. Those are your true ribs or your. Vertebral sternals, right? Mm -hmm. Your vertebral, your false ribs. It's just vertebra. these last three, and I'll show you what the difference. So, see how this is your last true rib, and if you extend its cartilage, it connects all the way, right? <coughs> that oh, line that one connects connect. all the way to the sternum. Okay. Oh. The oh, next three are just, your false yeah, ribs. Yeah, because they connect they to the cartilage. They connect to each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, right here, but this connection part this connects thing. all three of those. But not and to then this it connects to the cartilage that is connected to that true last ribs. true rib. So it's not even connected, connected to, the to the sternum. It's not, um, there we not go. In, they're indirectly connected. Right. They're connected to that right. last true rib. So those are your false ribs. Three. So who last broke his three. rib? Hmm. <laughs> and then the he last two. broken ribs. The floating ribs are the last two. They don't, they don't connect, connect at all. to anything. No. They don't connect at all. Look at that. Okay. Those are floaters. Show me, show me that. These don't, don't have any oh, connection the to the sternum. There's the two, two right, right here. They end right here. They're real short. That are the floating ribs. Those are floaters. Oh, so it's the two ribs in the back, right? Mm -hmm. And then these fontanelle ones, last part of this checklist, mm -hmm. there's a picture in your book. And that's how they're going to test you out of it. Okay. So that's probably the easiest way to do it. Let's picture a little baby head. Little bit of baby head. <laughs> little bit of baby head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where it's at. There, maybe that's it. There it is. So those are your fontanelles. Or those are your soft spots. Ah. Right? Which are part of your sutures. Or they're in the same area as your sutures. But I'll let you guys go through them and just basically that. And you're done. I gotta go. So